Absolute nightmare. My worst nightmare finally happened. We got two. Two of them coming. This is the worst thing that has happened to us in the almost six years. Okay, I'm back here. What do you want me to do? Just hold on a second. I'm gathering my nerves. Got some fog out here this morning. Will getting out of this site be just as difficult? Put your head in my watch your wood out the window. We can wake up anywhere tomorrow. It don't matter where we go, we're going somewhere. Alright, you've cleared the electrical post. Seems to be much easier exiting the site. <laughs> yeah, just a little. I'm going down to the bottom here. Yeah, no problem. Okay, you're about right where you want it. You might want to go a little bit more. That looks pretty good to me right there. Every time you get ready to pull up the ramp, I still think of Fonzie. Every time. <laughs> I just wanted to quickly talk about the tie down situation as it exists today. Uh, you can see that we've got the wheel dock kind of held in place on its own by three points here that goes to a tie down up under there. The bike has two ties on front and now four ties on the back. One of them kind of goes backwards, kind of make sure the bike doesn't go this way. And of course, one to the side to make sure it doesn't go this way. So this has worked out to be a very secure tie down setup for us. This thing is not moving. Bye, Lake. Sorry we didn't get to hang out on you. Maybe uh, watch Trailer Swing on this. Thank yeah. you. Got your thing still on? Yep. Yeah. Hey, Harry. I do. Thanks, Speedy. Yeah, you too. Right. Oh, no, no, there you go. Talked it up so much. Oh, no, no, thank you. Okay, coming up. And you checked the checklist, right? I did. Okay. I'll take the scenic road. out of Elm Hill. That place was nice. It was it was so nice. Didn't really get to um, use it the way that we thought that we would. <laughs> yeah. Didn't get out on the water with a kayak or a boat. Really didn't do much of anything. It was a bummer. But now we are heading to Ohio. We're gonna do it in two days. We don't really need to as far as mileage. It would be a long day and it would be getting us into Dayton Dayton area right around rush hour. We have a stressful back up there. Where we're backing in tomorrow is probably the only time we actually really got mad at each other, like fought <laughs> on the on the walkies backing in. We we're going to some Jericho Farms or something. Yeah, Jericho Farms. Harvest host. Harvest host, baby. We have ice cream.
Rest stop lunch time. That gourmet meal. Leftovers from last night, barbecue pork loin. Spaghetti squash casserole. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa head. Hmm. So, I'm going to continue working, and Chad's going to continue investigating. Our lack of brakes on the trailer. Yeah, that's that's no good. Yeah, luckily it's been all flat, so hasn't been a problem stopping and stuff, but I'd like to figure it out. Well, yeah, <laughs> um, that's important. And we are going, we are heading into Kentucky and the, you know, there are some big hills there and stuff. Daisy's concerned. Let me know if you need me to help or do anything. Otherwise I'm gonna work on the video. Work on the video. Okay, all right, bye. Believe it or not, this brake issue is not the nightmare scenario that we're talking about. <laughs> no, but it is an issue that we're gonna cover in a full video coming up soon. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. One and a half miles. Turn right on Kentucky 712. Weather the storm, find a way, take the high road. We'll find the lights to get out here again. Turn right on Kentucky 712. Oh, I see it right there. Are they coming that way? No. Okay. Please park in the back of the gravel parking lot. We typically have two campers per night and we need to make sure we have room for both. Flip on the TV, kick off your shoes, stuck with me, I'm stuck with you. I just turned my radio on. Not time clock. How's this looking? From this angle, it, it's okay. You can keep going. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go look, because right now it looks like you might not be straight and it might bug you. All right, I can see the cones back there. That looks good. Do you want to come and check it out? Sure. Doesn't it smell so good like their waffle cones? Look, you can buy waffle chips with stuff on them, like chocolate and stuff. That's that's exciting. We've got ice cream. The one with coconut. The one with coconut. Yes, on our overnight, we are sitting in bed eating dinner <laughs> because we were too lazy to move stuff around out there. <laughs> so we got naked and afraid, castaways, pot roast, mashed potatoes, and corn <laughs> in bed because that's how we roll. Tara said, do you want like a plate with all of it separated? I'm like, no, just throw it in one bowl. This might have been one of the quietest harvest host sleeps I've had. It's awesome. Very easy harvest host. Another successful harvest host stay. This one was nice and yeah. quiet. Really no road noise last night. None. There was no one else here. They said they frequently have two RVs stay, but we were the only ones and Oh, those waffle cone chips and their ice cream. Everything was so good. Those waffle cone chips dipped with chocolate and sprinkles. Yeah. That's cool. Daisy didn't get to try them. She just got her little dog treat. She did. But not the, not the chocolate part. I gave yeah. her a little plain cone piece. Because that's the only fair thing to do. So now we only have a couple of hours until we get to our mooch docking location near my family. Mm -hmm. 
This one is one of our more difficult back ends because it's there's no shoulder, just ditch on both sides with a culvert going into the driveway. Yeah. So it has to be done just right. Yeah, and we haven't been there in a while. We haven't been there with the 410 yet. So we are a little bit longer. The last time was very unpleasant and we didn't do a very good job. So hopefully <laughs> this time my brother's coming to help us stop traffic. So we should be good. Yeah. All right, well, here's to an uneventful day ahead. Cause that's what we like, uh, uneventful. <laughs> Take the ramp on the right to I-71 North towards Cincinnati. How does that break feel? That's safe. Yellow vest means safety time. It's time. It means I get to be traffic cop, but I've got my brother following us too in another nifty yellow vest. He's gonna follow us and put his hazards on behind us and stop traffic coming from behind us. And then I'm gonna help Chad and block the traffic from the front. So here we go. I just wanna get this done. Let's do it. I will stay calm. I will stay calm. I will stay calm. I will stay calm. Once again, this is not the nightmare scenario <laughs> that we are talking about, even though this situation always causes us both some stress. Yeah, and we were so stressed about the whole thing that I forgot to hit record on our GoPros, so... I forgot to bring out my phone. <laughs> yeah, but we got it in on one shot. Yeah. So glad it's over. And while we were there mooch talking in Ohio, we spent time with my family. We didn't film much, of course, because it's just family time and relaxation time. The downside to Daisy having fun is this. Do you get dirty feet? Is it gonna be bath time? Okay, first day towing after the brake quote fix. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We're heading out of Dayton. I'm sad, so I'm probably not gonna stay Cause I get sad. I don't like leaving. Yeah. The upside is we're heading back to the cabin. More on that later. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. All right, he's getting ready to roll. Yeah, let's try, I gotta shut the camera. Then take the second left. We definitely could have made this trip in one day. We've done it before, but you know, why push yourself if you're not in a hurry? Take a couple days to get where you're going. That's what we like to do. So we did stop off in Clinton, Tennessee at Knoxville Campground. Okay, now is the nightmare scenario. This is it. This is it. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately, or fortunately maybe, it happened about 500 feet from our cabin. Well, because it happened 500 feet from our cabin is kind of what makes it a nightmare for us. Yeah, since we were just coming back to the cabin, we didn't have the cameras rolling coming up our road because we showed that before. We didn't expect anything eventful to happen. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to deal with this dash cam footage for a little bit. This dash cam footage is only about a minute long, so bear with us. 
As you might have seen in past videos, the gravel road going up to our cabin is pretty steep. It has a 90 degree turn in it at the steepest point. And it's <laughs> and a pretty it's, narrow road in that yeah. turn as well. So it's always been a source of stress for, I think both of us, mm -hmm. really for me, I always get really anxious before we ride up our road with the RV. But I was okay because I thought, well, we've done it a whole bunch of times now. Mm -hmm. We've got it down. I really wasn't nervous about it. Factors conspired against us. Chad. Chad. Babe, that's not helping. Please. Do you want to go see what if it's stuck on something? Yeah. So it's like the, the road is a lot of sand down. Like yeah, we'll have to get this graded. All right, but. You're not cutting it over to the passenger side, right? I'm just coming straight back a little bit. Okay. I'm putting the walkie down for a minute. In hindsight, the biggest issue we had was our tires. On I the truck. On the truck, right. I didn't realize how worn they had gotten. And we recently did a video where we upgraded those tires, so we shouldn't have that problem anymore. Mm -hmm. This is why we upgraded the tires. Yeah. We're stuck, guys. This is the first. And we can't go here because there's a dip here. Yeah, I'm going to have to back up a few feet just to get out of the ruts. That's really scary. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do. We're not going to share every attempt we made to get up our hill because it was three or four times <laughs> yeah. before we called reinforcements. This is a nightmare. No, I mean, the cameras are rolling and I'm just, trying, I'm just thinking something about something here on the road. Okay, this is dumb, but I need to clean these mirrors so I can see a little better. That's not dumb. I'll come up and help you. Our cabin is just right up there, but we can't get to it. We've spent a lot of money on trying to keep our section of this road nice and graveled, but when we're not here for months at a time, we, you know, we can't control it. So Chad walked up to the cabin. He's getting an old carpet and gonna try that because our gravel isn't really gravel anymore, at least where the tires are. It's more like sand and dirt and... He's still there, I actually bumped a weird button. I'm here. He has to like find a straight edge and cut the carpet and do all kinds of stuff. So I'm just hanging out, getting attacked by bugs and stuff. <laughs> Taking gravel from one part and putting it where the tires are headed. So it looked like we were spinning on this side, but not on the other side. I know there's a way to lock these hubs so that they can't spin or something. Yeah, but are you gonna put more gravel though in front of the back tires then? Oh, uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if anybody can do this, it's you. You got it. <sighs> I appreciate that. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm keeping my eye. I'm just watching the trajectory and that you're going along the same path that you, we came up, correct? <sighs> correct. All right, I'm putting the radio down. Okay. Here we go. I feel real sick. Oh, whoa. Sometimes it's all you can do. You can do just make it through. Oh, I hate this. Sometimes it's all you can do. It's all you can do. Just make it through. Oh, make You're pretty close to the same path you are just to the, um, the driver's side of it, but not too far, like you said. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so scary. This is so scary. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw up. Mm. 
now, you veered off of the path that you came up. Does it matter at this point? I'm gonna get out and look. Yeah, I want to, I'm probably gonna want to cut it a little more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. But you're still just coming straight back. You're not trying to pull it up yet, right? You're... No, no, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna go all the way down. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right. I'm just trying to keep an eye on like the, um, the Jags getting close oh, to the- way left. I didn't know we were that far left. Yeah, shoot. Uh, yeah, I have to cut it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. I hate this, I hate this. Sorry, I'm just getting all my feelings out in front of you guys and not in front of him. I don't need to make him more nervous. We need to go and look at the back of the truck and just make sure that you're not, I mean, because you're looking okay back here, but I don't know about the truck. It's not good. I'm going to have to go up a little more. Now it always been through times again. We just tried it again. Um, got nowhere. And so now we're going to try putting a little plastic rug underneath the tires. It's obviously it's the truck tires. Thing is, nobody can get around to help us, even if they could pull us, right? Even if they could pull us out. You can't get around. Absolute nightmare. Okay, I'm back here. What do you want me to do? Just hold on a second. I'm gathering my nerves. All right, I'm going to try going forward. I'm debating on four low or four high, though. You have a preference? Do I have a preference? <laughs> I don't know, babe. I mean, I don't. I. I don't know. Do you want to look it up and see any see if there's any any information about like four low making it actually grippier? I mean, four low is supposed to be like the best traction, but I don't know. Wait, four low is what we're on right now, but you mean four high? Put it on four high instead. Yeah. So, what does four high do then? It's just a higher gear ratio. You technically don't have as much power. I'm gonna leave it in four low. There's so much power with the four, four low that it, the tires were spinning. Is what you're saying? Yeah, but it, I, I, it's just a matter of traction. We're just not getting traction, so the tires are spinning. So I'm gonna leave it in four low. You know, if we were going a little bit faster, I think four high would be better, but I don't think. I'm trying to crawl out of this in four high is the right idea. Okay, so are you just going forward right now? Yes. Okay, baby, you got this. Buckling up just because you never know. I will gladly walk up that hill. All the way up. All right, let me make another assessment. It doesn't really look that bad, but it's the it's the tires up by the truck that um, are stuck in the in like the dirt and sand and not going anywhere. It's not has nothing to do with the trailer tires. It's just uh, the truck can't get any momentum. We also didn't record making numerous phone calls to different towing companies and wrecking companies to see who was able to help us. We didn't think to record that, of course, because we are stressed out. Stressed. The first guy that showed up with a wrecker didn't like my idea of going past us and kind of helping us up the hill. Yeah, it was essentially, <laughs> it was, nope, no way, not gonna happen. Yeah. We got his boss on the phone and his boss said, I can help, we'll tag team this. He came with another truck and they were fantastic and really helped us out. Saved our bacon. You can probably see in the video, the RV is laying right on top of the bed rails, which is not great. 
Well, that's terrible. It has officially been two hours. I'm still not sure what's going on. Chad went and took Daisy up to the cabin. I have yet to even be up to the cabin yet because she was spazzing out and I felt bad for her. And finally, some, some good news. The heavy duty wrecker guy, so friendly. He just showed up and he said, we'll get you going, get you out of here. So they put some boards under the passenger side of the RV to get that side up and level and off our bed rails. Which was awesome. And then after that, they hooked up the 450 to their uh, heavy duty wrecking truck. You'll be sure to bring the cure and I'll be here another day. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Whoa, oh. I'm so nervous. Put four with this you think that you think that one will pull it will help? Oh, okay. Both of them will get it. Okay. Go slow. Oh my gosh. Please make it all the way. You guys know by now that he doesn't get stressed too often. I of course do all the time. We know this. But to watch the footage back, <laughs> watching the footage back was really hard for me. And it was hard for both of us because it, we were reliving it. And I felt anxious and stressed and kind of sick to my stomach. And to see him stressed is like, it's kind of makes me feel better for being stressed, but I hate <laughs> seeing him stressed. So yeah, it was I was, tough, I was way stressed out on this. We are up. We have made some progress on our road <laughs> since this happened, luckily, but we still have a little learning to do. Yeah, like we mentioned, we've got beefier, grippier tires now on the truck, and I'm kind of getting into the grading business. We're gonna fill you in on all this stuff, guys, next week on our live stream. Mm -hmm. We will answer your questions. So if you have questions about this particular incident that happened, if you have comments about like how to maintain gravel roads, put them in the comments below, and we'll see you next week on our live stream. I'm washing my face, cooking some mac and cheese, brought my pillows in. Oh, we're doing this right now, okay. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm tired, I'm gonna get it done. Oh shoot, uh-oh, oh no. Just one disaster after another. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's only quarter to six and I'm going to bed after I eat this, done. This was a nightmare scenario and we survived it and uh, that's it. Yeah, we're going, we're going to rest now, have a beer. Bye. Bye. Hey, you know what? We suffered a lot in this video, so give us a like and a subscribe. <laughs> yes, like our suffering. Yeah. Subscribe for more. Mm.